Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the new, brand new deck that's coming out by Rock Paul, which is the Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle. Um, this is part three of the trilogy so far. So the first one was the Seven Oracle, and then we had the Yule Oracle back in December. And this is obviously the Beltane Oracle for um, the upcoming Beltane um, part of the Wheel of the Year um, celebrated in the Pagan calendar. Um, I'm not going to be reviewing these two decks um, because like um, you've probably seen them all before anyway. But what I do want to say is they are all by Lorraine Anderson and Juliette Diaz and they are all illustrated by the same person as well, Giada Rose. Um, which I love because the artwork completely flows through the whole kind of like trilogy so far. Um, so let's see, show you what you get. Um, this is out in uh, the end of March, so the 31st of March in the UK. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but you can check it out on Amazon anyway. And so on the back of the box it says, <coughs> excuse me, unlock your potential for growth, creativity and abundance with the energy of Beltane. Also known as May Day, Beltane, Beltane honours life and is a celebration of passion and putting your plans into action. The Earth's energies are at their strongest and most active and all of life is bursting with potent fertility. At this point in the wheel of the year your potential can be unleashed. These cards align with your energy, helping you to unlock your inner wisdom with the help of powerful spiritual forces, along with thoughtful meanings, or invocations, thoughtful meanings, or invocations, or powerful word spells to invoke the energy of each card and to send your intentions of spiritual well-being out into the universe. Um, so you get 44 cards in a guidebook, the same as the others, so there's 44 cards in all of them. Uh, I think, yeah. I think, is it the same as the others? Uh, yeah. So, it's basically two-part normal standard rock pool publishing book uh, box with the guidebook as well, and then the cards. Um, let me show you a little bit what the deck has to offer first. So you've got the introduction, um, Beltane themes and areas of focus, how to use the cards, card spreads, and all the cards in order, alphabetical order. So what actually is Beltane? Beltane is the season of abundance, fertility, fertility passion and growth. Um, so the witch's new year begins with seven and flows to Yule, in Bulgar star of Beltane, Midsummer and Lamas, and finally ends with Mabon. Our first two decks, seven and Yule, felt so appropriate for the beginning of this journey, but now we've jumped around a bit because we we're both in the midst of welcoming more fun and freedom into our lives. Beltane's bright energy felt like a natural fit for where we were in our respective journeys right now. And it says, Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle is the kind of deck you'll want to grab when you're ready to make yourself a priority. This deck is very inward focused to help you find the encouragement you need to see your life with fresh eyes. So it's all about like the Beltane themes of focus, right? So you've got everything to do with growth and creativity. And it's because Beltane is the fire festival festival in the pagan of the year. All these messages, you know, you've got abundance, creativity, fertility, growth, love, lust, marriage, other world, passion, pleasure, psychic ability, purification, sensuality, sex, sexuality, union, visions, warm and youth. So these are the themes that are kind of explored in this deck. So um anything like to kind of like help with focus and creativity this deck would be really really good to use um i've had a quick flick through the cards they are incredibly beautiful um i love the other two as well the artwork's kind of folk art as well um this has got like kind of kind of a warm aesthetic to it um so it kind of makes sense being beltane and everything like that so and then we have little invocations on on the cards as well each card in this oracle includes an original invocation written by Juliet that is a summonation of the card and can be said out loud to invoke the corresponding messages of the card. It's essential to say your invocation out loud um, because, I mean, obviously, you, you know, you can use inv invocations or you can't, you know, it's entirely up to you how you use the cards anyway. 
Um, the keyword on here is suffice to use the card and obviously look it up in the relevant page in the guidebook. Um, and then the next part of the um, guidebook, we have daily guidance cards. Um, and it says using the cards beyond Beltane. Um, it says these cards were crafted with, crafted with Beltane's energy in mind, but the magic can be felt all year long. Seasons of the Witch Oracle functions in the same way as any other Oracle deck. The themes represented will be most apparent during the Beltane season, but they embrace the energies of abundance, growth and love. So shining your light or working your magic is a good idea at any time of the year. Um, so obviously it says when you're using starting a new project for intimate and platonic relationships when you're seeking fertility or creativity. To work specifically with any of the animals included in the deck during celebrations such as hand fastings, graduations and birth and so forth. Um, and obviously daily guidance which I've said, daily reflection cards. Um, intention cards and then altar cards so there's lots of ways you can use and incorporate these into your practice if you have a practice if not just use them as a normal oracle card deck as Juliet points out and so we have some lovely card spreads as well which are always like kind of a few in these uh, oracle decks by Rockpool so you know you can use these ones in in here at the moment obviously another you know three card spread and who doesn't love a three card spread um but there's loads of like kind of prompts you know on here to like kind of like if you get a bit stuck problem solution advice who, who you think you are who you really are what your purpose is strength action what's holding your back and um, so it's really really good you know so this is a deck you can actually use straight out the box um you don't have to study in depth um you know we I'll, I'll go through the cards with you in a moment so you can actually see what you get in anyway so we've got loads more spreads in here so how many spreads are in this in this little guidebook so first of all we've got one um two three Four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that's sufficient enough. Eight spreads in a little guidebook. That's great. And now we're on to the cards as well. And you can see, like, the backs of the cards are the B. Let me show you the backs of the cards. So we've got the B in the world. Um, they are reversible, obviously, um, because you can see the, the both things. Oh, no, they're not actually. No, sorry. Um, my bad, um, they're not reversible because like I mean that part of the world is different from the opposite side. So let's have a look at what we get. So I'll start from the beginning, I haven't mixed them up or anything like that. There's 44 cards in here and we have B um, and the little like kind of invocation at the bottom is don't drink all of life from one flower for there are many to taste and many to explore. And I will show you, obviously, what the guidebook says about B. Um, I think it's something to do with um, productivity and, you know, growth. So let me see how wrong I am. Right. OK. It's all about possibilities. So every day, thousands and thousands of hardworking bees travel miles in search of pollen to bring back to the hive as nourishment. Perhaps B would rather stay inside the eye of how to fear of being a tiny creature in a, in a big world. But B knows it cannot build without the right resources and that it must be willing to leave the comforts of home in search of more. B has sought you out today to remind you to be willing to put yourself out there. The universe will provide for your needs, but you must be willing to step outside the box. There is never just one source and always many possibilities waiting for you. One lost opportunity will be replaced by another, but perhaps wrapped in different packaging and one right relationship gone will be filled with the love of someone who can better attend to your needs, even if this new love is the exact opposite of your usual type. Just as B travels from flower to flower, you too may need to try different avenues and trust your inner wings to guide you until your potential is distributed in the right place. As you reach beyond your familiar boundaries, you will begin to expand your idea of what is good, right and possible. The further you extend yourself, the more resources, tools, people and opportunities you shall find. B reminds you to keep an open mind as doing what you've always done will get you what you already have. Consider avenues you would never dream of embracing. You may find a whole new field of flowers from which to pick. So as you can see, there's lots.
lots of messages in just that one card. Um, you know, you can see that this lady on here has got a bee on her finger. She has got the wings. She's got like a bumblebee like kind of like costume on. And also she's got the flower in her hair as well with bees around that as well. So, um, and on the end of the card, you've also got additional Beltane animals. Um, so you've got an eagle is the symbol of soaring to new heights. Uh, for repre fox represents feminine magic and frogs represent lunar energy. Um, obviously these are just kind of like, uh, they're not in the card, so they're just additional Beltane animals to use. So that would be great if you wanted to do some journey in work or something like that. And it's a great message. And, and you know, as I say, you can, I've used these, especially the Yule ones a lot in my practice. Um, not the Yule ones, sorry, the sewing ones a lot in my practice because they are specifically dealt to deal with like shadow work and, you know, the the closing of the old year and the beginning of the year new. So this one is brilliant as well. So let me show you the cards anyway. So what we get on the cards, we have got Bonfire, which is number two. The order of the cards don't make any difference. They don't, you know, they don't like create a story or there's no kind of system with them. I just think they're numbered. Um, I think so anyway, I haven't read otherwise. Um, but we'll go through the cards and see. So we've got boundaries there as well. Uh, let me see if you can see the cards. Chant. And cow. Creation. That's beautiful. And uh, the tree um, with the person inside the tree. And it's like kind of the, the tree represents a figure. Earth worship. They've also got animals on there as well, and a crystal. Embodiment. What I love about the decks um, by these guys, um, they're not afraid to show older people, um, and they're quite diverse as well. So, you know, you've got like kind of like different kinds of people from different cultures which i really do appreciate um because as we all know um the decks by hay house didn't um they were all skinny young white people but now i think in our times that publishers are realizing that we need to be a little more inclusive of other people um from a broad spectrum of different cultures and different lifestyles so you have got like the human kind of figures and then you've got these beautiful fey kind of figures as well um which are lovely um with the great big toad to toads toadstools toadstools and the bee on there fertilizing as well and so you've got an older person and a younger person fire festival because that's what beltane is all about um it's the pagan fire festival Flower crown, which represents May Day. Ghost, I absolutely adore the illustrations. I, I love the illustrations in all of the decks. Goddess. And Green Man. And Grove. Hand fastings. Just lovely illustrations on here. Oh no. You can see like the third eye on this person here is like kind of a little tiny honeycomb with a bee actually going in. Indulgence. Oh, I could just crawl in that bath now, honestly. Not clearly with that person, <laughs> with that person is. I'm on about like by myself, obviously. It looks so welcoming inner power another beautiful card look at all the energy kind of coming off you know love spell so there's lots of things like bees and honey um a lot of earthy things a lot of nature which we love you know a lot of herbs and crystals um and things from the earth um and it's really lovely this is like a totally Gorgeous, like fire kind of card. Manifestation as well. 
some more bees as well and then we've got the maypole which is um, a UK kind of old folklore custom and I, I suppose other countries have got their own custom of the maypole as well milk and butter morning dew oak oracle orgasm thrust your body elevate your spirit open the gates to your renewal so we all know that orgasm is always about release pegasus Break free, dear one, spread wide and far, for you are containable, you are limitless. Phoenix, that is absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, rise from the ashes, rise above, rise again, you know. We all might fall from time to time, but we have got that strength and we can all rise again. And there's three little, I think they're bees maybe or moths I can't quite figure it out but like the person is kind of incorporated into the wings and the flames of the phoenix which is gorgeous and we've got primal and then ribbons that's such a lovely card Rowan oh this is really lovely as well it's like kind of very kind of like um well, I hate to use the word witchy really. Um I prefer like, you know, pagan as as an umbrella term. Um because like I mean it's lovely if you're into like kind of the earth based religions as well. I mean obviously you haven't got to be. Or kind of earth based path. Um that is so beautiful as well. It's like um is that a heart? I think it's a heart and it's blood. Um it's really 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 gorgeous and some phases of the moon on there as well self-worship sex magic let me have a look what they say about the sex magic card um, because not all of us practice oh it means uninhibited so that from one that key one that keyword what that one keyword you can just get so much from that uninhibited um it's really good actually because like it's very female empowerment as well because it says among many cultures and for years women have been forced to deny their sexuality either through objectification or by the patriarchal system attempting to limit their sexual gratification Women who did feel free to express their sexuality were judged and exiled and many were labelled witches, as though that was a dirty word. Witches are often thought to be lustful women who give themselves up to the devil. This imagery is rooted in some truth, for sex magic is a real and useful tool, although it has nothing to do with evil. Also, witches are certainly liberated, be they male or female. Sex magic simply harnesses the creative energy of passion and the restorative energy of orgasm as a way to power your deepest desires. Consider this your in, in initiation. You are being guided to disinhibit your spirit so you may move forward in a natural, authentic way. Uh, what an incredible oracle deck um, because like it kind of touches on other things as well, you know, life relevance at the moment and so yeah i mean just like looking at that card now i can see like people's inhibitions have gone so that's brilliant stone circle that's absolutely adorable as well um i don't know like for anybody who doesn't live in the uk um the uk is absolutely steeped with mystery and law and we have got hundreds and hundreds of stone circles scattered through England, Wales and Scotland and Ireland. Um, and, you know, this is what I love to, about living here because it's steeped in so much magic and mystery. Um, Sun God, that's incredible. Surrender. The Lovers. 
vision. And the last one we have Wildcat. I absolutely love it guys, honestly. Um, it's just, I just, I mean, because I think I'm a bit biased because I love the other two decks as well. Um, but obviously, I mean, I will be using this um, because everything in it, really, I'm going to have a proper read through the guidebook later. Um, that they're aesthetically gorgeous, as um, the other two are as well. These are edged in gold and the backs are gold. Um, let me show the other two in comparison as well. This is the Eulorical, um, just in case like people wonder what it, it looks like. So the Yule one is edged in green, metallic green, and the backs of the Yule one are green. So they've got exactly the same kind of backs as well. Um, let me just move this out of the way. And then last but not least, we have the Sewan Oracle, which is my favorite Oracle deck um, out of these three so far. And the Sewan one is red with also the same backs. Um, the hands are on, you've got hands with like twigs, hands with like bows, and we've got the bees on this one. So they look so cool together. Um, you know, I can't leave this video without showing you a quick flip through of the Sewan one as well. Um, I'm not gonna go. So this is the kind of thing you get um, with the Sewan one. Um, this is my favorite, I love it. Obviously you don't have to use this like, you know, towards Halloween, this is a really good uh, deck for like getting, you know, in the darkest stuff um, and I love it. The Yule one is obviously based around Yule Christmas um, and that kind of tradition. So we've got like things like Frost and Wreath, remembering, telling stories, and one of my all time favorite cards in this deck, um, if I remember using it kind of Christmas time, was, um, so you've got things like Cold Moon, you've got older people as well, Solstice. Um, this is what I'm saying about the artwork. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and if I can find that one car before I go and wrap up the video for the day, Mother Mary, which is lovely. Um, so yeah, um, you can see like what you get, what the aesthetic is. Uh, they all look fab together um, with the same font as well. I think this font on is like yeah the font on this one is slightly smaller on the top um i have no idea why i mean it's still gorgeous anyway but yeah you can see like what kind of like aesthetic you get and as far as i'm aware of there are others coming out as well so um yeah so i hope you enjoyed my video review today um this is the seasons of the witch Beltane Oracle, um, which is released in the UK on the 31st of March 2022. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of the world, um, but you'll have to check that out for yourselves. So thanks for watching. I hope you all have a lovely day and I shall see you again tomorrow with another review. Thank you. Bye. Love you all.